Hey guys, welcome back, it's Dylan, and today I want to do a quick little denim DIY kind of video because you guys seem to like those a lot. So if you're from Toronto, then you know we have gotten so much rain, or if you're anywhere near Toronto, I guess. We've gotten so much rain in the past like week or so that it's so crazy. I mean, low-key, we all know what the reason for it is. Global warming. It's a thing. Uh, but yeah, anyways, so finally it is warm out, or at least it is today, and I thought I would do a denim short DIY. So the one thing with denim shorts that I find, I fall for it almost every year, is that you actually buy a pair of denim shorts when really you can just get a pair of jeans that you've had lying around in your house for like the winter or fall that you're not like a huge fan of, and you can literally just turn those into denim shorts. I don't think you really shouldn't buy denim shorts, because really, I find when you do it yourself, it turns out better anyways, and you actually get to add things to the shorts that you like, rather than like if you go to a store and they have like a weird rip in some area that you're not so comfortable with and all that crap. Uh, but yeah, that's my whole logic behind it. And without further ado, let's get into this video. So the first thing you want to do is find an old pair of jeans. These are just some I had lying around and I actually tried doing a DIY on the hem of them and it didn't turn out. So this actually works out perfect. And then after that, what I'd like to do to figure out the length I want my shorts to be is put a pair of shorts on top and just mark where those ones lie. Now there are different ways of doing this, you can actually put the shorts on your body and mark where you want them to sit, or you can just get a measuring tape and mark them that way. I just find this way a lot easier and a guaranteed good length. Uh, and I do realize I am working a pair of denim shorts with another pair of denim shorts, so let's just pretend I didn't do that. <laughs> So once you have the area marked off on both legs, just go along with your scissors and just cut away. After that, because the jeans I used had a slimmer thigh, I cut up the side hem just a bit to add some extra room. Now you don't have to do this step, but I find if you have thicker thighs or you have like a slimmer jean, it does add a little room, so just a little tip. Then moving on, if you watch my two other denim videos then you know exactly what I'm going to say about fraying. Yes, in a whittling motion, just fray out the bottom hem. And honestly, this by far has to be the best method for fraying out the bottom, or any hem for that matter, of denim. And then after that, we move on to the bleaching process. And actually, I'm going to pause this right here because there are a few things I have to say about the bleaching process. So the bleaching process took almost a total of nine hours and halfway through it I turned the shorts over and to my surprise there were these big blotches of unbleached areas or there were areas that didn't get bleached as much on the back but it didn't happen to the front so I don't know why that happened but it did. So what I did was put them back into the bathtub full of bleach and had that side up. Still didn't work after hours of bleaching it so I tried putting bleach directly on it and it actually did help a little bit but for some reason it still didn't take on the bleach as much as the other areas or even the front. The next day after washing them in the washing machine I covered them all in lemon juice and let them sit outside for the whole day and that actually seemed to lighten them and got rid of some of the yellowish tinge to it. Okay and that's all I have to say about the bleaching process so let's continue. So after the bleaching process, I wanted to add my own personal touches to them and make them look really worn in and distressed because that's what's really in right now fashion wise. So with a pair of scissors and the denim still lightly damp, I went across in a slicing motion to add some rips. And I don't know why, but having the jeans damp helped a lot when distressing them. I genuinely have no idea why, but it gave a lot of variety in the, in the distressed styles. If that's a thing. You know what I mean. And for me, I don't know what it is, but I hate when people slash brands leave the pocket area untouched when something is distressed. Like, isn't the whole jean supposed to be, like, worn in or something? You know what I mean? So what I did was wrap up the pocket hem and just below it, just to really give it that whole genuine, like, worn in look. And then you want to repeat that distressing process to the other side. Now, on this side, I wanted to show you guys how to get that whole exposed white thread look. So what you want to do is make two or more slits with your scissors, and then with your fingers, you want to pull away at the blue threads. And that's pretty much it. I don't know how to explain it more than that. And finally, again, to add some more personal touches, but also to hide some mistakes in the bleaching process, I went and splattered some white fabric paint all over. And you can get this fabric paint at Michael's, so highly recommend it. Now, you don't have to do splatters like I did. You definitely can do some, like, patches on it, or you can even paint on your own design, anything like that. Make it your own and customize it the way you want. And once you've done that, you are done.